Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in this one, we are going to talk about Lucy Ticket Symbol LCID. So this is a stock that we've covered here on the channel from the very beginning. I've given you guys ins and outs, when to buy, when to sell, when the dip is coming, when the spike is going to show up. So today I want to give you guys another update and a specific date that you have to settle on your calendar. So we're going to cover that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So for those of you guys that are new to the channel, if you haven't already, you can go watch some of the videos that I've already done on Lucid. I covered Lucid um, from the very beginning. So I'll hook that up here so you can go watch that. Um, today's video is just specifically kind of like an update for you guys that are stockholders or shareholders of Lucid. And again, if you want to get into the stock, I might give you some tips in this video so you watch it all the way to the end. So those of you guys have been following the stock Lucid over this past weekend made a major milestone, which is something that we have been waiting for for years. So finally, Lucid was able to deliver the Lucid Air, the Lucid Dream Air to their first customers. Remember that they have over 10,000 reservations for Lucid Air. So they were able to deliver some this weekend. I don't have the specifics of the numbers yet because they haven't uh, put out those numbers. But as soon as I get those numbers, I'm going to put them out here so you guys can actually see. So uh, there was an event out in California uh, where they actually handed over keys to the, the customers that reserved the Lucid Air. So if you can see here, the CEO talking about it. And this is something that I've talked about here on the channel, that Lucid was still... Um, out there just playing games until you see their cars driving down the street then you know they are in business and now you can actually say that Lucy is in business because you can see their cars driving down the street but I want to caution you because um, having your cars drive down the street doesn't mean that they are out of the woods yet they still have to fine tune. Uh, drivers are gonna find some some stuff that they don't like. People are gonna complain. They have to fix that because those are some of the growing pains that Tesla went through. So I anticipate that Lucy would have learned some stuff from Tesla, but still they would have to go through their own growing pain. But the good news is the vehicles are out on the street driving. So now comes the important part and that's why I wanted to do this video. So circle your calendar. This is going to be November uh, 15, 2021. So this is when Lucid is going to do their earnings call. So they're going to do their first earnings report after going public. Again, as a public traded company, now that they're delivering cars, they would have to report numbers. I don't anticipate much. I know they're going to talk about the numbers of cars they've delivered. I don't anticipate a ton as far as revenue. So balance sheet wise, I'm not really looking for anything, but be sure that they're going to talk about the number of vehicles that they delivered because they have over 10,000 reservations for their Lucid Dream Air, which is crazy. So if they can achieve the number, let's say 500 vehicles went out to me, that's, that's huge. Then they can follow up that again, maybe uh, Q4, say, hey, we put out 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000. That's what I want to see. They're going to be scaling as they go, which is something that I'm really impressed by. So settle that date. We're going to look at it. And there's a high potential here. If they come out and report some really sloppy numbers, you might see the market is not going to like that. They're probably going to get see a pullback um, of the stock, which is expected. But if they report some really good numbers and then you might see the stock spike. So there's something to keep an eye on. So for those of you guys who are not in the stock, you're probably asking yourself right now, Mr. V, uh, should I buy or when should I get in? Again, for long term stocks like this one, I'm holding long term. Always average your way because you don't know the exact timing. There was one time here where I told you guys I was screaming on here that buy the stock when it dropped to about $17 and I screamed my lungs out that buy. Those would have been uh, a good time to get in. But now if you want to long term, I say open the position and slowly buy if it keeps dipping. That's just the way the, the game works. 
dollar cost average your way into the stock if you if you're not in the stock yet if you're in the stock yet and you want to add is the same principle dollar cost average your way so you can dollar cost average up or dollar cost average down if you look at this stock you're anticipating that this is a uh, two hundred dollar two hundred dollar fifty um stock in the future and if you're paying 30 bucks or paying 35 dollars a share that's still pretty much premium in my opinion so if you can keep it on that 30 that's even better but the, the way to get started is start a position even if it's a small one get started and that's how the game is played so as as of when we were doing this video if you can take a look here where lucid is currently trading um we can see right here, Lucy is currently sitting at $36.63. Actually got to a high of $41.60, which is crazy. I mean, this thing came down all the way to $19 at one point before spiking up. So if we can look right here, that was somewhere around here. Yep, about $16 at one point. This is just, just in uh, September. And then look at that spike all the way um, up there. So again, anticipate that after this bull run right here, it's gonna pull back a little bit. So if it can sit somewhere around 30 bucks, that's great. But it wouldn't surprise me if it break that and get back under 30, which would be an excellent entry point for, for somebody that's looking to get in or looking to add to their position. So again, this is a long-term play. This is not something that you just buy now, anticipating that I'm gonna, I wanna get rich tomorrow. If you're trying to swing trade it, then I'll say wait for a really good pullback. But if you are looking long-term, start a small position, average your way as the price drops. That's the way to go. That's how you play the game. So again, let me know if you have uh, any questions. So November 15 is the day that you want to settle on your calendar. Again, like I said, that would be their first earnings report going public or uh, trading as a public company. So they're going to give you numbers on their car deliveries. Um, just kind of talk about their balance sheet and then give us some projections uh, for the future. Give us an idea as to how many uh, Dream Air they're going to deliver this year and then how they, they plan on scaling to meet demand next year. So those are some of the key things that I'm going to be looking at uh, during that call. Again, I'll give you guys an update. I'll do a video after that call just to make sure that you, some of you guys are up to date with what happened and how to prepare for the next steps in Lucy. Let me know again in the comment section if you do have any questions. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free Shiba and you get some free stocks at no cost to you. I'll put the links in the description below. Um, just click on those links, sign up. Uh, you get some free stocks. I get some free stocks that helps the channel uh, to win-win for, for both of us. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.